Hi and welcome to this webinar. Today I'll be talking about vocal mixing. I'll be using the Renaissance bundle and the One Knob bundle only uh, to mix the vocals on this track. Let's start by listening to a bit of the chorus with the vocals unmixed. And I don't want opinions. Your way is not mine. I don't mean to be unkind. So we can hear that the track is pretty much in control and the vocal is kind of uh, all over the place in terms of the dynamics and also the tone can be shaped a little bit better. Notice that I separated the breaths from the main vocal and now we can solo the vocal and listen to how it sounds without the breaths. And I don't want opinions Your way is not mine I don't mean to be un... Okay, so the first thing we want to do is to control the sibilance and for that I'm going to use the Renaissance deesser. When I'm going to compress the vocal which I'm going to do to apply hard compression on, um, it's going to basically raise the level and presence of uh, the sibilance like the s, the sh, the ch, the t and all those um, and that's because when I speak you have the s in a certain level. Uh, if I shout, then although I'll be passing a lot more air through to produce this letter, you see that it's not louder. So between and there's not much volume difference. However, between uh, a shout and uh, soft vocals, there's a huge amount of level difference. And that means that um, the sibilance letters can be kind of uh, disproportional to the energy level of the vocal. And for that, we have the deesser um, in order to control the level and the coloration of them separately. So let me start by setting a range of around 20 dB, which means that that is the maximum range that I, that I allow the Renaissance DSA to bring the level down by. And I don't want opinions. Your way is not mine. I don't mean to be unkind, but I have to go alone and try and follow. Now, the default settings is at around five and a half kilohertz, and I want to bring that down to around three and a half K. So it will detect more of the high frequencies or the high mid frequencies rather so I can get the SH, the SH and the CH which are kind of lower in range than the S's. I'm doing my own thing and I don't want opinions Your way is not mine I don't mean to be unkind Okay, this will make sense much more once I applied compression so what I'm going to do is put the Renaissance channel on the vocal and basically just compress the hell out of it. I'm doing my own thing. Using the Arvox type compressor, which is a soft knee compressor, compression. So uh, it will basically start compressing from a very, very low level, but it will do it in a very smooth way. So I can apply quite a bit of compression uh, and this is going to make it very, very tight but with minimal pumping effect. I'm doing my own thing and I don't want opinions. So this is quite extreme but I think that it will make sense in context. As you can notice because the attack time is at around 4 milliseconds then we get a kind of a kick on the on the front of the of the singing I'm doing my own thing which I kind of like it makes it punchy and it gives it a bit of attitude uh, obviously since I'm compressing around 20 dB I'm doing my own um, thing. I need to compensate in level and I'm going to is not mine. raise the gain don't mean to be unkind but I have to go alone and try And now if we listen to that with the track I'm doing my own thing And I don't want opinions 
Yo, where is that man? I don't mean to be on. We can he immediately hear that the vocal sits much better in the track. The level is controlled and actually the expression and energy is much more convincing for that type of, uh, of singing. Now we should go back to the verse and see whether that setting, settings work for the verse as well. The life I've always wanted is a life that I can look back on. Okay, so I can see that it's way too loud. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna split the channel and drag the vocals to a new channel just for the verse and lower the, life I've always the level. Now the reason why I'm doing that and not using uh, automation is because I have more control of the level without having to uh, use automation so I can freely move the faders until I get the, the sound that I want and the balance that I want but also I can uh, use different settings for the verse and the chorus. So let's start with, with the verse and try to EQ the vocal, just adding some top end to it so it cuts more through the mix. The life I've always wanted is a life and I can look back on When I'm 64 and I can say hey Now you hear the importance of the de because if I switch it off. The life I've always wanted is a life that I can look back on When I'm 64 and I so can... So you hear the S's really cutting through and with the with the de on the sound much more in balance. The life I've always wanted is a life that I can look back on When I'm 64 and I can say hey I do I can even go higher uh, in as, as in more processing on the S's because like I said relatively they are much higher in the verses because the vocal in general is quieter so the S's especially become much higher relatively. The life I've always wanted is a life that I can look back on. And I feel that this is not enough and I'm going to use another de after the Renaissance channel. Uh, so I'm just copying the first one. Um, the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm using a lot of compression on the Renaissance channel, uh, it, it's going to mess up the balance uh, we achieved by taming the S's with the first instance of the S. Uh, obviously it helps, but not enough. So now when we have a more even vocal level, we can more gently address the S's again with another de The life I've always wanted is a life that I can look back on When I'm 64 and I can say hey Okay, now it sounds like it's cutting the high frequencies of the S's too much. So what I can do is use a wideband mode. And what that does is it will detect the high frequencies but use them as a sidechain for a wideband compressor. Actually, you can see that this is the whole spectrum. The life I've always wanted is a life that I can look back on When I'm 64 and I can say hey So basically, this is a normal compressor sidechained um, by the high pass filter that we see here, starting at around 4.5K. And this sounds much more natural and in control. The life I've always wanted is a life and I can look back on When I'm 64 and I... And then let's listen to the chorus vocals again. I'm doing my own thing And I don't want opinions Yo, where is that Yeah, so because he's singing much louder in the chorus, we don't need that second de -esser. So I can only apply that for the verses. I'm going to drag the verses and I think that that's probably the middle eight to this channel and then we can take it from there. Now let's put some effects on the vocal. So let's send it to 
plus one and put the wetter plugin which is a one knob and let's see what that does it's a little after fall on a thursday afternoon i stare into the screen where it seems that all i'm worth goes into just another day of the week when does it end right then and there i decide this is not how i want to contend i go on down the hall and deliver the news i hate to go but i so this really helps in putting the the vocal into the mix and kind of gluing it to the mix so it doesn't uh, so it's not so dry and uh, it's a little after fall on a Thursday afternoon but what I'm hearing is that it's too for this song it sounds too kind of rich uh, so I'm gonna grab an EQ and just uh, use high pass and low pass filters to just bring it more to the around the mid range it's a little after fall on a thursday afternoon i stare into the screen where it seems that all i'm worth goes into just another day of the week when does it end right then and there i just add some mid range how i want to contend i go on down the hall this sounds much better, slightly loud, so I'm going to bring the effect down. To see what I can do. Too much is placed on, staying with the status quo. There's always another. So this works for the verse. Now let's see what we can do for the chorus vocal, because I want a different effect there. I'm doing my own thing, and I don't... So for this, I want to try to use something with a bit more slap um, so let me send it to a renaissance reverb and I'm going to use it in a slightly unconventional way I'm going to take off the reverb completely and j then just use the early reflections but I'm going to apply a pre-delay quite a long one so I'm going to have almost like a slap back I'm doing my own thing and I don't want opinions your way is not mine I don't mean to be unkind, but I have to go alone and try and follow what I know I don't want to be living out the usual biography. And by bringing the size right down, I can really control the sort of um, space between the different, uh, the individual reflections. Now I need to compress this quite a lot, so I'm going to use the Arvox to compress the return of this reverb. I'm doing my own thing, and I don't want opinions. Your way is not mine. I don't mean to be unkind, but I have to. So this puts it in a kind of a space of its own, but I need to add some of the tail to that. But very short tail, and then I can bring the pretty leg down a bit. I'm doing my own thing, and I don't want opinions. Your way is not mine. I don't mean to be unkind, but I have to go. Now, the damping, I can take the low frequencies right down, so it will be very short on anything below uh, 400 Hertz and then I'm just gonna release the filtering so I let the high f frequencies filter through and actually boost them a little bit and bring down the low frequencies I'm doing my own thing and I don't want opinions your way is not mine I don't mean to be unkind but I have so that's kind of more like an attitude effect, but I want to add some of the wetter. So I'm going to send it uh, to the wetter as well. And let's try to do that. I'm doing my own thing, and I don't want opinions. 
Yo, where is that man? I don't mean to be unkind But I have to go alone and try and follow And I know I don't want to be Living out the usual by so That sounds quite good to me uh, Now let's address the, the breaths Let's listen to them So now we have them very dry obviously because we don't need any effects on that so that's one of the benefits of splitting them into their own channel um, I'm going to take the louder plug in and compress them and then um, we can hear there's a lot of uh, low frequency content which we can get rid of. So let's try and do that. So I'm just going to filter the low frequencies out. Anything below maybe 700 or something like that. 600. and maybe brighten it a little bit so it kind of sounds more similar to the main vocal track which is quite bright and then let's hear that with the lead vocal just to make sure that they um, match sonically and I don't want opinions yeah, and I don't so want very opinions. Loud. Yeah, and I don't. Okay, let's listen to that. I'm doing my own thing, and I don't want opinions. Yo, where is that man? I don't mean to be unkind. Okay, I think that that works. I'm doing my own thing, and I don't want opinions. Yo, where is that man? Maybe a little louder. I don't mean to be unkind, but I have to go. And let's see how that works in the verses. So, again, for the verses, it may be a little bit too loud. So I'm just going to copy the track and then just move the verse breaths to it. And do the same here. Lower them down. Want to contend. Go on down the hall. Deliver the news. I hate to go, but I have to see what I can do. Too much is placed on sandwich. Great. Now we have, let's say that, we have um, a double track which is doubling the lead vocal, so I can just copy the same settings of the vocal, although I'm gonna leave it dry air. And that plays only in the choruses. Don't want opinions. And also we don't need a lot of the low frequencies, so we just need the mid-range and up. Be unkind, but I have to go alone and try and follow and I know I don't wanna And actually I think that to give it even more attitude we can distort it a little bit. So let's try the driver on that track. Living out the usual biography. Something like that. Let's see how that sounds with the lead vocal. And I don't want opinions. Yo, where is that man? So definitely we don't need any effects on that. I don't mean to be unkind, but I have to go alone and try and follow and I know I don't so that be. supports the lead vocal. And now we can move on to the backing vocals. Let's see what they do. I'm doing my own thing. I'm doing my own. Okay. So we have them grouped. So they're all playing I'm doing my own out thing. of two of a bus. Um, now they're quite loud, so we can actually bring down all the backing vocals together by let's say 9 db I'm doing my own thing 
for now we have I'm doing my own thing. I'm a more reasonable level. Um, I'm going to use, first of all, a de -esser. I'm doing my own thing. I'm doing my own thing. Really not much need for it, but I'm just going to have it there to protect from the high frequencies. And then another Renaissance channel. Now for this um, bus, I'm going to take out, actually scoop out some of the mid-range because I want them to just make the, the course wider but not to uh, occupy a lot of um, presence in the high mid-range. So I'm going to just take out some of the mid-range and compress them. I'm going to use the Renaissance compressor for this, put it on maybe 3 to 1 ratio and let's see what that does. I'm doing my own thing. Yeah. I'm doing my own thing. So that's kind of wider and the compressor makes them really tight together. I'm doing my own thing. I'm doing my own thing. I'm doing my own thing. That's cool. And now we need to get them sent into our attitude reverb with the main vocals. Let's listen to that. I'm doing my own thing and I don't want opinions. Yo, where is that man? I don't mean to be unkind, but I have to go alone and try and follow what I know. I don't want to be living out the usual. And let's leave with that for now. And now we have these tracks. Can bring them down a little bit. And we can start very easily by copying the settings from the chorus backing vocals onto these guys. So let's solo them. So, this sound quite thin, so we can use the fatter to bring, to beef them up a little bit, to make them wider, and for those, we need a different type of effect, we need a more straightforward reverb. So let's send them to a new bus and put the R-verb across, this time with no early reflections, reverb time of about 2 seconds, pre-delay maybe 40 or 50, just um, to keep them dry and to have the reverb following just after, so, so they not sound too much in the distance, they still they're still focused and the tail just comes lightly later and we can have a flat frequency response. Actually, let's give it a little bit more high frequency length. Let's hear that with the track. So, we have a very kind of uh, contained vocal, it's much in control. We can now go to automate uh, certain 
um, places in the track to make it gel better. I mean, this is where the kind of hard work really starts. Now we have it set up. Uh, we can automate the reverb sends, we can automate the level, we can take a look at each uh, breath to see if, if it sounds natural and uh, basically do the tedious work of uh, gently putting it, you know, uh, into the picture. Uh, so hope that's been useful and thanks for watching.